In this video, I'm going to break down the Heraclius Garrison meta by reviewing reports and talking about where he's strong, who he should be paired with, and where he's weak. And this is based not only in Ark of Osiris testing, but also in taking some time over the course of the last week to look at reports from KVKs and decide how he's performing. So stick around in this video for the things you need to know about the Heraclius Garrison meta. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiskel Gaming, and today's video is sponsored by the makers of Rise of Kingdoms. And unlike other garrison commanders and rally leads that have been released into the game, the Heraclius test results were super confusing. They were all over the board. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what we've learned so far, where Heraclius is strong, who you should pair with, um, and why it is that some of these reports look really funky, because there is something really important to understand about Heraclius that I want to address up front. People have already keyed into the fact that he is a commander that benefits from multiple troop types. This is actually really easy to see. If you look at his expertise skill, he does get a slight boost when you have three different troop types represented. That's actually fairly difficult to accomplish. Before I get into why the multi-troop thing is really weird, let's just talk about what the boost is, which is an extra 20% normal attack damage taken reduction. Now, in order to see this, you have to look at the details of the report. And the way that reports work in Rise of Kingdoms is a little bit weird until you understand it. Some skills are conditional and some skills are not. Skills that are not conditional, like this 10% less damage taken from normal attacks. You can actually see all the way down uh, over here for Flavius and Hera. In fact, Flavius also reduces your normal attack damage taken, which is why this is a grand total of 20% over here. I realize maybe this combo is a little bit weird to show it. Uh, however, I can show you right over here, here it is, uh, that it decreases normal attack damage taken by 10%. So between the two of them, that's how you get your 20% normal attack reduction over here. And you have to actually look in the battle log to see the conditional buffs and debuffs. And here you can see it is an additional minus 20% normal attack damage taken. That is from the mixed troops on your Heraclius. That's where you see that in the report. Um, so although the language on that skill was maybe a little bit unclear that it was normal attack damage taken reduction, that is in fact what that extra 20% is. So getting that seems worthwhile from br bringing the mixed troops. But remember, mixed troops is a weird thing. A commander like Flavius has skills, talents, and equipment that all benefit infantry. So if you bring non-infantry, it is not good for the garrison. Anything above what you need to activate this boost of reducing the damage, or I guess it's normal attack damage taken by 20%, is going to be waste. So if you try to fill this garrison with Flavius and Heraclius with 50% infantry and 50% other stuff, that is probably going to be a not-so-great report because so much of the garrison has troops that are missing out on way, way, way too many stat boosts. This is very important to keep in mind as to why it is that some of these reports look a little bit weird. Because as we did our testing, and I will show you these results, in our Ark of Osiris practice match, we ran these without reinforcement. So the mixed troops were there at the start, and then what would happen is that some number of turns into the battle, one or more of the mixed troop types gets eliminated from the garrison, and suddenly the garrison stops trading as well. Now, in a KVK context, you could keep reinforcing, um, and that probably would lead to a better result. In these tests, we did use full crit iconic equipment, with maybe the exception of the accessories not being crit, and we did not use armaments because we thought there was just way too much variability with the armaments that different people had and the different effects that are available in the game. So we stuck with what we could get consistent, which is the equipment. That better reflects reality, but we didn't use armaments. So let's start with the Flavius Heraclius combos 172,000 to 210. Tarek ibn Ziyad and Sargon did really well against this combo, which is a little bit surprising because Sargon is very weak to the silence on Flavius. Now, from here, Boudicca Henry 
absolutely freaking decimated Flavius with Heraclius, which we would kind of expect because the Boudicca Henry is archers battling into infantry. 143 to 235 is a brutal outcome. From there, 206 to 199, cavalry did slightly poorly against the Flavius Hera. And I think the reason that's the case is easy to understand. Flavius' silence is brutal against commanders that do lots of skills. That includes Joan, and that includes XY. So this seems like a solid counter where you can bring mixed troops. And before I get too far along, it is important to remind you that in a KVK context, that this report would look a lot better for the defender. Remember, a KVK flag or fort, you will have 75% of your troops die and 25% be sev wounds if you are the defender. If you're the attacker, 100% of troops will die, okay? So in a Ark of Osiris practice match report, what this reflects is as if, you know, those sev wounds were dead and it's like you have 100% on both sides. Do you see what I mean? So technically... That sev wound number, which would be deads in a KVK context, would be lower because some number of those won't be deads, they'll be sev wounds instead, okay? So just remember, if all that was confusing, that when you look at these reports, if you really want to understand what would happen in a flag or a fort, remember the dead equivalent number in a KVK situation would actually be lower than what you see here. Okay, so from here, we move on to Jan Ziska with Hera. And this combo decimated Tarek Ibn Ziyad with Sargon, 209,000 to 140,000. Brutal outcome, great outcome for Jan Ziska. Then we rallied archers into the cavalry, and shockingly, archers clapped cheeks. 177, almost 178,000 to 253 and a half is kind of a weird outcome. I wasn't expecting cavalry to lose like that. From here, uh, we used cavalry on cavalry, and the Alexander Nevsky with Joan of Arc did really well, 150,000 to 192,000. So this is really weird because, yeah, you can use the Yanziska with Hera to get rid of some mixed troops, but it is weak to some of these rallies. Uh, then we ran a Boudicca Henry again against Yanziska Hera and got 172,000 to 269,000, so a consistently bad outcome for the Yanziska garrison, which is a little weird. From there, we ran a test of Tarek ibn Ziyad with Sargon against Hera with YSS. Now, we wanted to see mixed troops, but unfortunately for these tests, we don't have perfect mixed equipment, but we just wanted to see. 100,000 to 236,000 is a pretty brutal outcome for the mixed troop garrison, and there's a really important lesson here, which is that I know a lot of people thought you could just jam Hera YSS together, and even if you didn't have great gear, it would work. Not the case. You still need meta equipment, and it still needs to be pretty much fully iconic in order for the Hera YSS combo to work, and we'll talk more about that, okay? Boudicca Henry, by the way, against Hera YSS was brutal, 101,000 to 246,000. And we also ran Tarek Ibn Ziyad, Sargon, against a monitor Hera. I, I just wanted to see what would happen. And it didn't do great, okay? 154,000 to 206,000. Amani with Hera doesn't really seem to be a thing. I would still like to test Artemisia with Hera, and I don't have that yet. Um, from here, we ran uh, Nevsky Joan against Hera YSS, 97,000 to 204,000. Brutal outcome. I've seen great Hera YSS reports in KVK. I know this works, but you do need to have, I think, the ideal equipment to actually make that go. Now, we also ran Tarek Ibn Ziyad and Sargon the Great against Zeno with Hera, and that actually works okay. I think that Zeno with Hera is an improvement from Zeno with YSS. That's 201,000 versus the 221,000 for the garrison. By the way, if you are getting value from this video so far, do me a huge favor, throw a like on here and consider subscribing. We spent literally hours doing this testing and I spent even more time reviewing KVK results. So thank you for taking a moment to appreciate that effort with a like on the video. From here, Sino with Flavius against Tarek Ibn Ziyad with Sargon. 163,000 to 231,000. I think that Zeno Flav is a good garrison, and it can do well against the Tarek Ibn Ziyad, but it didn't do well in this particular result. And remember, if this was a KVK flag or KVK fort, 
the trade would look a little bit better because it would be 100% dead for the rally and 75% dead for the garrison. From here, we tried out a Yad Viga with Hera, and we had Tarek Ibn Ziyad with Sargon, 200,000 to 280,000. The Yad Viga wasn't all that great with the Hera. And then we tested Yad Viga with YSS, 159,000 to 253,000. The reason we switched it up with the Yadviga Hera and then wanted to run the Yadviga YSS is just to see which was better. And they were roughly equivalent, which is surprising. I feel like one of my conclusions for looking at all the stuff with Hera is that I think it's better than YSS, but to see it not really be much better in the report was a little disheartening. Um, and we also had Chadsky bring in his slightly more focused equipment for infantry on his Hera YSS combo. We got 117,000 to 227,000. The Tadak Ibn Ziyad was just doing work here. Um, we also ran Jan Ziska with Yad Viga, 215 to 277. And then we ran Jan Ziska with Hera, that's 219 to 237. So here it was a little bit easier to see that the Hera is slightly better than the YSS as the secondary. And from there, there was one final test we got to run before we ran out of time. 225,000 for the Tarek Ibn Ziyad with Pakal to the 173,000 for the Yan Ziska with Hera. Wow. Now, these are test results, but thankfully over the course of the last week, I've had the opportunity to look at a lot of KVK results as well. And so here are the conclusions that I have drawn based off of all of this testing of Heraclius, who I'll put up on the screen here. And I think that the first conclusion we can draw is that even in our testing, which was difficult to run, we felt like the Jan Ziska with Hera is one of the strongest combos you can run for your garrison if you want to bring in the Hera. And, and in general, one of the strongest garrisons right now overall. And so when we start to understand why is it that this combo works, it's actually pretty easy to see. Jan Ziska is a damage monster. He has huge amounts of damage on his active skill. And Hera is supporting this. Hera, I think, operates as a supporting role commander. This is because he is boosting the skill damage that the other commander deals, and also he's mitigating the damage that you take. That's what shielding is doing. Um, that's what his health is doing in part. That's what his, uh, you know, normal attack damage taken reduction is doing in part. I mean, he's a good anti-swarm commander with some good AoE damage, and he is just very much a support commander, okay? He is an amplifier, is perhaps a better way of saying it. And Jan Ziska is a commander that really benefits from amplification. Similarly, from what I've seen, Flavius with Hera is working pretty solidly as well, um, especially if you're against cavalry. And I think that's also pretty easy to understand because Flavius is another really high damage commander who benefits a lot from an amplifier, which is what Hera is. So if I were to rank some of the Hera garrisons, I would say Jan Hera is my number one. I would say Flavius Hera is my number two. And when it comes to the Zeno Hera, this is where things get a little bit weird. Because before, we were really happy to just run Zeno YSS, and it was your best way to get rid of your mixed troops. And although you could run Zeno with Hera and get rid of mixed troops like that, I think you're probably better off with a Jan Ziska garrison for getting rid of your mixed troops. I wouldn't say that with 100% confidence, but I think if you're going to use a garrison where you would say, hey, try to fill with this, but if you don't have it, it's okay to bring something else. Now that garrison to use is probably the Jan Ziska with the Heraclius. So I would say that Zeno with Hera is probably not a garrison you would be looking to run. That's in part because now you have other ways to get rid of mixed troops that are effective, and in part because Xeno is just generally really countered by Gilgamesh. So now you now that you can avoid using Xeno to get rid of mixed troops, you would try to do that if you could. This brings me to the other Hera garrison that I think works but requires really focused equipment that most people simply don't have, and that's the Hera with YSS combo. Now, you still need to bring mostly the troop type that your equipment is benefiting. This would be a really bad set uh, for uh, doing, you know, the mixed 
troop garrison. Actually, what you need is more like what I'm starting to work on with Trajan, except that every piece needs to be legendary, every piece needs to be crit, and every piece needs to be iconic, which is something that most people don't have, crit, iconic, leadership sets. But I have seen YSS and Hera trade really, really well in a KVK context, um, but I think a part of the reason that these reports are hard to decipher and why you've seen reports that are all over the board is that it isn't exactly decisive. It's not overwhelmingly amazing, such that you see everything just being one-sided. And when you look at a KVK report, you also need to account for the fact that, hey, there's a blend of T4s and T5s, and also Defender sometimes has an advantage unless you're looking at a pass. And the advantage of being in a pass is that it's a little bit more difficult to swarm. I mean, you literally can't swarm it. You can only have three marches hitting a pass. Now, the other thing I'll mention regarding Yadviga and why I don't think that's a great combo with Hera, even though Yadviga is a great commander, even though I have scrolled past her a couple times now, is that Yadviga is also an amplifier. And so Yadviga with Hera doesn't work great. Um, Yadviga has low skill damage, but is boosting damage dealt. So Yadviga is good with Yanziska because he is a high damage commander and wanted an amplifier. Hera is not good with Yadviga, in my opinion, because they're both amplifiers and they are enhancing the damage you deal and reducing the damage you take, but aren't doing big damage themselves. So it is a little bit weird, but also when I put it this way, it'll sound pretty logical that like, hey, the newest commanders when paired together, that's Flavius and Jan Ziska paired with Hera, works out really well because Hera is an amplifier and tanky commander and both Flavius and Jan Ziska are really high damage, but aren't very tanky. Pair them together, you've got a really good combo that's difficult to swarm and also works well if you're defending a pass. This means right now your best cavalry garrison, in my opinion, is Jan Hera. Your best infantry garrison is Flavius Hera, followed by Zeno with Flavius. And then your best archer garrison is still Amani Art, from what I can tell. Haven't seen Artemisia with Hera tested yet, so I am actually kind of eager to see what that would look like. But they aren't particularly synergistic. And in general, Artemisia boosting the enemy's skill damage is just kind of a bad thing these days. So I'm not overly eager and I, I'm not overly confident that Artemisia with Hera would be so good where we're like, oh, wow, this is actually the meta. And I do feel like Amani with Hera was not particularly meta, even though she does lots of skill damage because of her fourth skill, actually, is where that's coming from. She's also kind of an amplifier. And so she wants to be with a commander that she uh, is enhancing that does lots of damage, and that's not Hera. I think the main conclusion that most players should take away from this video is that if you see a Hera garrison and you're going to fill it, you should still try to bring the main troop type that the garrison requires, because if you don't, it will probably do pretty poorly, um, even if it is a good combo. If you stuff that combo, such as using Jan Ziska uh, and Hera with a bunch of non-cavalry, you're just missing out on too much. Way too many talents offering stats, way too many stats from equipment and from iconics, and way too many stats from skills that you're just missing out on. So although mixed garrisons are now a thing in Rise of Kingdoms, he has still got to focus the one troop type, in my opinion, unless it's a YSS Hera, and even then... <laughs> you still probably should focus the one troop type, even though it's slightly less punishing for how mixed you go. If you're looking for more information or want to see the tests themselves, I'll have two videos in the end screen for you. One will be the testing live stream. The other will be watching some of these commanders participate in garrisons in KVK. That's the 1307 KVK. Enjoy it.